You're sinking fast, Julia. Can you hear me? Do you know I am at your side? Our child, forgive me. No, remember me as I was. Let me take my child and leave in peace. That is very generous of you. Given that you have taken everything that was mine, I do not want to harm you! We left England together, their child and I. We set sail for Ireland. It was in Ireland that I began to tell her my story. There was plenty there to tickle a child's fancy. Mansions and maidens, monsters and men.
With the telling came the desire to put my words on paper. Line by line, the lines leading to pages as I fumbled for a key to the puzzle of my life. What's that from? England. After more than a decade, I was homeward bound. My attempts to tell a tale on the page had captured the eye of a publisher in England. Why are you laughing? Someone once cursed me that I would one day learn to appreciate life's simpler moments. Who cursed you? A witch? A good one. Laura? Laura? My child. What is her name? It is a name I have given her. A name... dear to my heart. Clara. Clara and Clara are going to have a cup of hot chocolate. And you, Basil. You're going to say hello to your father. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Basil. Well, goodbye. I loved her deeply. I want you to know that. I was in my prime when she grew ill. I needed her as a man needs a woman. But she could not. She was too sick. I loved her deeply. But maybe I didn't love her enough. You are a man now, my son. I can speak to you of a man's passions. But I saw the same seed in you and your brother. It was as if you both had held a mirror up to me. Then who among us can bear to see his soul so truly reflected? Wonderful, Father. Do we have to go home? We are here to stay, Clara. We have come home. <laughs> 